What is going on, guys? Welcome to J Powell Music. Be sure to like and subscribe here on the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know when these episodes are available. And first and foremost, just thank you guys for all the uh, the nice comments that I've received. And then just for you know subscribing to the channel, being interested in my content. Definitely appreciate that. Like I said, I'm just a music enthusiast. Love hearing, you know, hearing some great music and, you know, playing music. So again, appreciate you guys' interest. Today, I wanted to talk about something where I mentioned a, uh, I said something about Omar Rodriguez Lopez, uh, and I wanted to expand on it. And what I said was, is that Omar Rodriguez Lopez is the Frank Zappa of today. That's what I think. Um, and uh, you might say, you know, well, wh what's the comparison that you have between Frank Zappa and Omar Rodriguez Lopez? So I wanted to kind of mention a few things for why I feel that way. Um, and with Frank Zappa, you know, he's one of the greatest musical minds uh really ever in my opinion uh, I've just have always had a great appreciation for how he approaches music um, how he approaches musicianship uh, and then just his ability to make an extensive amount of work you know Frank Zappa has a plethora of albums you know he's been making music when you know obviously when he was alive he's making music for i mean goddamn decades right literally literally the first album on here is absolutely free 1967 um so he's literally has made albums for decades which i think is you know i think is incredible um you know so part of as far as the first thing extensive catalog for Ariz lopez uh, that is one thing uh, that I, you know, to me aligns with or, aligns with Frank Zappa, uh, Ariz Lopez. If you're not sure, usually he used. I don't know if this is true, but I was hearing that he's, you know, he usually makes like thir he used to make at least an average of like 13 albums a year, and a few of them will come out and the rest will shelf. You know what I mean? So his work ethic and i'm talking about omar um to to, to cr get the music out of his head and to create a, an album a project uh at least to have it complete is you know he's able to achieve that you know what i mean uh as far as his approach to music frank zappa has always had a very interesting approach to music um some of you might already know as far as like steve i being his transcriber uh and then also i believe he toured with frank zappa as well um for some backup band work that he's done but he, he used to transcribe frank zappa's music because uh, back in the day you know prior to that or maybe around the same time you know frank zappa would he he was learning like writing music you know i don't know if it was if it was a self-taught thing it seemed like a self-taught thing just based off of if you look online for his uh physical musical notation you know it's very like it's very different <laughs> very different it's not clean um uh you know but i mean he had he had certain he had ideas that he wanted to get out and he wanted to make sure everyone can play him to a degree and for example was very much uh he was meticulously serious about his work you know what i mean as far as someone playing in a certain time frame or whatnot it wasn't just like he just had an idea to play something but couldn't really communicate it he really wanted to com he really had the he really wanted to communicate that and make sure that it was exactly what was in his brain for that music. And I feel like Omar Ruiz Lopez was exactly like that as well. Now, as far as to the degree of, if it was to the point of like, you know, dictatorship, I'm not really sure. I do know from back in the day, Omar's, uh, him making the music for like, uh, 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 for, for, for amputecture, um, for Francis the Mute, um, maybe Bedlam and Goliath as well, but I think he was starting to kind of dwindle off from that style. Um, and then obviously, the Lows and the Comatorium. You know, Omar was originally known to be very 
I want to say autocratic is the word, uh, but just very much. He had very specific things that he wanted to make sure that were flushed out from a music perspective. Um, ideas that he wanted people to play and play them how he wanted them to be played, you know, and, and a lot of it was very complicated stuff. You know, um, I know in general, there's a lot of uh, mishaps with uh, uh, with John Theodore, who used to be the drummer for, you know, Omar for with uh, the Mars Volta. You know, um, obviously not a, a private project like Omar Ruiz Lopez, where he makes all this, these albums under his name or under like El Grupo, um, El Grupo, um, you know, Omar Ruiz Lopez. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, you know, it, it gets to the point where he he left, you know, after touring and doing the amputecture stuff. Um, a lot of it was just miscommunication, but very complex stuff to play, or just very like. I don't know if jarring is the word, but just, you know, you need someone who knows what they're doing, basically, right? Um, yeah, and our reason approach to guitar is very much, like, specialized in his way, you know? There's some great interviews with Frank Zappa talking about, you know, um, you know, his, his approach. He has a certain specialization to guitar that's different from other people's approach, you know what I mean? And uh, talking about how it's a great video. I think it's on Instagram, but as far as like how, you know, some people they'll, they'll practice a certain solo or whatnot, you know, again and again until they perform live. And, you know, he knows what to do. The guitar, he understands the framework uh, in, in, in his way of doing it, um, but he may not know what to play, you know, uh, uh, stays live, but he knows that he'll, he'll get something out. You know what I mean? He'll express it, whatever he feels, and I thought that was amazing as well. And I think, I think Omar Ruiz approaches that certain ways too. Not everything, obviously, but when it comes to a solo, I've seen him solo various ways for certain um, certain songs. So like Roulette Dares is definitely one that I think about immediately. Uh, there is a performance he did for the Big Day Out. I want to say it was two thousand and three. Very different solo, more so aligned with the album of how he soloed back then. But then when uh, Tom Prision was the drummer, uh, his solo was really like just it was a big solo. It was a big solo and it was dope. Like he did a really good job, you know, um, he did a good job in all, in, in all the, the senses, but his approach was very different. It was very, you know, it was a very uh, intentionalized, extended solo, and it was different from the album. That's probably a different conversation, too, as far as uh, when you see a live performance, do you want to be exactly like the album, or do you want that and something different, something that's going to be special to the live performance? Um, so that might be his philosophy, but that's a potentially another uh, conversation piece. But, um, yeah, so as far as just the... And then it's just there. So some of the things that maybe not exactly the same. Uh, Frank Zappa very much, um, from, from my understanding, I believe he kind of has a liberal, you know, um, uh, mindset. And that's not a negative connotation or anything. Um, it's just this is just based off of his interviews and uh, some of his uh, kind of like political type uh, pieces for some of his albums. It's kind of making fun of like politicians and stuff and just like being aware of like the big things that are going on things like that so uh he he definitely conveyed those messages where i don't know necessarily if omar Riggs lopez has any type of work that is that political per se um if i'm wrong leave <laughs> leave me a message in the comments and kind of describe what what do you think aligns with that but i would think i would say that's definitely a difference where that you know, they're not aligned in that notion. But I think as far as just someone who uh, has this catalog of music and one of the hardest workers, um, it's one of the hardest working musicians in the industry, um, I definitely just, I just feel like he's really comparable to, um, to Frank Zappa. You know, I think he has some amazing music. And um, he's the first person I think of as far as, man, who's this, who does Orange Lopez remind me of? And, and Frank Zappa's it for me, you know? So uh, I, I haven't listened to everything Omar Ruiz Lopez has listened to. There's a lot of albums that I listen to of his, whether it be from uh, the El Grupo or just his solo series. Um, Old Money is probably my favorite 
project that he's done solo wise. Um, Bosnian Rainbows is one of my favorites, obviously. Uh, you know, and, and it goes on. You know, but, uh, check out some previous videos that I talk about the Mars Volt. I talk about some other uh, albums that I'm a big fan of. But I just wanted to talk about that. So that is kind of my notion. If you're a fan of Frank Zappa, uh, let me know in the comments. What do you think? How do you feel as far as him being compared to Omar Reeves Love Best? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Why? Obviously, you know, have it, let's have a conversation. Let's not just let's not just say things. Um, and you guys are great anyway. You know, people that have been in the comments, they they get the uh, left some really really neat insightful cool stuff so appreciate that continue to do that as you guys always do so that is the video here appreciate you guys again be sure to like subscribe tell your friends like subscribe if they're music fans as well and i'll catch you guys next video thank you so much